We start with Richmond, who are undergoing a tough period in their footy year, Sam, and Damien Hardwick now accused of going uh, too far yesterday during a VFL game and another sign that frustrations are boiling over at Richmond. Yeah, that's right. It was a story in the Herald Sun by Peter Rolfe today. Uh, Hutchie and the other part of uh, that article we talked about in calling them uh, weak, the, the play that was involved, was also the next stage of that, which was claimed that Damien said something along the lines of, why don't you come over here and I'll show you how tough you are. Now, that was seen as threatening. Richmond and Damien Hardwick, as I understand it, have denied that that second comment took place. Um, but we've actually been able to, through one of our producers, Jackie Reid, speak to the player involved who maintains that the Herald Sun's quotations are accurate. So there's a he said, she said going on in the midst of all of this. And the AFL now investigating that tonight, we believe. They are. Yeah. They're asking questions um, of both Williamstown, the VFL, and also of Richmond and Damien Hardwick specifically. So uh, I think we'll hear more of this in the coming days. But it's certainly not what the Tigers need Right well, now. Yeah, I mean, he's famously defensive of his players, so not out of step. Fiercely not, loyal. Not dissimilar to Alistair Clarkson at times. Yep. Has had a little bit of a rap sheet that's been slowly building along those lines. Kane Lambert retired today, one of his great soldiers as well. So they're at a really interesting point and the pressure's been building on them over several weeks. Yeah, I think you're right, Hutchie. Look, I don't specifically have a, an, uh, an issue with that incident there. I think that's a coach defending his players and that shows the competitiveness of him. But there's no doubt he's been frustrated. I mean, the, the, the complaints to the umpires over his captain, Toby, Toby Nankervis, and the undisciplined nature of that and so, some of the issues that he's been clearly frustrated by over the last couple of weeks. And 13 years is a long time uh, at Richmond and we spoke about this last week so uh, it would take a brave club to want to freshen up but all eyes will be on the Tigers to see this how they can and how quickly what do you if think any, they should do? Well I think you'd be incredibly brave to move on from a triple premiership coach that's in contract but that, that's not happening well, it's Richmond not. I'm not going to. Would you be? Well, so how long? How long? You, you would have never thought Clarkson's time would have been up. Now, I'm not suggesting that's at the end of this year, but I think it's a conversation that is worth having. 13 years is, is a long time, and particularly if miss the finals last year, miss again this year, probably the results over the last three or four weeks. Um, out of step with where they should be finishing. So it's, it's a discussion worth having and a succession plan in place is worth doing. You, you know him well. Mm. and We spotted with him yesterday at the Premiership yeah. reunion briefly. Mm. The perception that um, Richmond have a discipline problem has kicked around for two, three mm. years. And, and because they have won so, so often, we don't really seem to hold it against them. But it's an, it's an issue that that yeah. comes up from time to time. Where yeah. do you sit on it? Well, on Damien, I think uh, his biggest strength can be his biggest weakness as time. Kane and I both played in a premiership with Damien and he is as protective of his players and teammates as you'll ever want to see. And I think he'd do that again for his play. I think he's that would be bitterly disappointed in the behaviour of the Williamstown footballer. But just on Damien, I th they had Sam Mitchell waiting in the wings for Alistair Clarkson. I don't think there's anybody out there. I think the only way Damien would leave is if he's had enough. Uh, but he still seems very hungry, Hutchie to coach in uh, and Richmond in the next phase. The other club that will, at some stage, I'm sure, have him on the radar post their coach is Port Adelaide, where he's a legend. Damien Harburg is a, well, not a legend, but he's a premiership player and a revered figure there. You're not saying that you think that's time for... Oh, it'd be, oh, I think it'd be Port Adelaide and be a number of clubs lining up to get Damien Hardwick, the most successful current coach. So it's whether he was after a fresh challenge, but it would be perfectly suited at Port Adelaide and whether that is and now for Ken Hinckley or, or not, but they'd, be, they'd have him in the I back think of The, the noise around Ken Hinckley and Port Adelaide just continues to... Uh, sorry, Ken Hinckley and GWS continues to get louder. So there may be a vacancy there, which we were speaking about that earlier in the year when they were 0-5. I know their so last 12 weeks has been So how does it practically happen? Do, they, do you think... Because they're running a process. He's not... Ken's contracted on yeah. another club. They'd have to go to him with a firm, long-term position, wouldn't they? And just make that their choice. Well, you have to, because he's not going to leave a contracted yep. position at Port Adelaide. You'd have to go there. And then I think, you know, Port Adelaide would be, would be open to that, as we Don't spoke about. Don't let him go, about. I think. What, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. What do you think Ken would do? Would he be the type to take the security of a long-term deal at, at a club like GWS or... The uncertainty, see, of, the one uncertainty of one He's pretty year. loyal, Lordo. Yeah. Like, I think he's pretty determined to coach out his contract. I think the only way that he would leave if Port Adelaide tapped him on the mm. shoulder and uh, encouraged him to do so.